Good morning or afternoon, first grade. I'm redoing Martha Blah Blah because it didn't attach through YouTube, so people with their, um, on their Chromebooks were not able to watch it. So we'll redo it, and then you'll be able to see it too. Martha was always a great communicator. Sad, happy, mad. <clears throat> but when she ate alphabet soup, the letters went up to her brain instead of down to her stomach. And Martha spoke words. Isn't it time for my dinner? Martha loved letters. She loved words. At last, now I can say I'm hungry. Let's eat. Make mine steak. And let me out. Let me in. Let me out. Let me in. So Martha's family gave her a bowl of alphabet soup every day. Martha never missed a meal. Having words open up a world of possibilities for Martha. All the employees at the local Burger Boy knew her well. Welcome to Burger Boy, may I take your order? Ten plain burgers, no sauce, no buns. And the neighborhood dogs depended on her. Gus said he's sorry about the steak, but you know, dogs will be dogs. Of course, Martha couldn't help but notice how much her family enjoyed having a talking dog. How special they thought she was. What an amazing dog. Yes, she is. That's my dog. What breed is she? Look, a talking dog. Yeah, right. Great day for a run. Where's the stick? There was someone else who loved letters as much as Martha. Alf Abbott was the A-man at the Granny Soup Company. He made all the A's that went into the alphabet soup. Alf loved his job and he was good at it. He assumed he would always have it. Underneath, under, unfortunately, the new owner of Granny Soup Company, Granny Flo, had other ideas. Granny Flo was looking at a portrait of the founder, Granny Elsie, when she made an important business decision. Why do we need all those letters? This is soup, not school. But she was really thinking fewer letters means bigger profit. So Granny finally summons her 26 alphabet alphabetarians and began to draw letters from the hat. 13 were suddenly out of work. One of them was Alf. Bye bye B, Saranaro S. Toodaloo T, adios A. Within a week, cartons of the new soup went to the local supermarkets. No one will ever notice the difference, thought Granny Flo. But several days later, after finishing his daily bowl of alphabet soup, Martha said, Gulap? What did he say? asked Helen. I, I, Gulap. Helen giggled. How embarrassing, thought Martha. Must be a touch of laryngitis. What he said was, good soup today, and I said, good soup. <coughs> but it wasn't laryngitis. Strange sounds continued to come from Martha's mouth all day long. Something is wrong. My words are gone. Woof!
The next day wasn't any better. Martha at ate bowl after bowl of alphabet soup, but it was no use. Nothing she said made any sense. I'm afraid Martha is losing her ability to speak, said Helen's mother. It's okay. Oh no, thought Martha. She couldn't imagine not being able to talk. No more burger boy, no more telephone calls. Just another dog scratching at the door to go out. And what would her family think if Martha lost her letters? It's your turn to walk the dog. What dog? Not me, I did it last week. I couldn't stand that, thought Martha, and she went outside. She walked down the street, away from home, mumbling to herself. Martha had wandered for several hours when a familiar aroma reminded her she had missed something important. She followed her nose. Soup's on. And her nose led her directly to Alf Abbott's kitchen, where Alf was heating up a can of soup. Come in, said Alf, who missed his friends from the soup company. He poured Martha a big bowl of alphabet soup. Martha ate her soup happily and without expectations, while Alf just gazed at the bowl in his lap. There it is, he said, a perfect day. Look at that L. Boy, Lou sure had a way with pasta. Alf continued to admire each letter in his soup until Martha was almost asleep, lulled by the sweet sounds of vowels and consonants. Then Alf said in his saddest voice, my last can of real alphabet soup. It's just not the same since Granny left out half the letters. What did you say? The words came out of Martha's mouth perfectly and clearly. Martha didn't know whether to laugh or growl. To Alf's absolute astonishment, she started singing the ABC song. And then she said, where's Granny's? Listen to your Granny, eat. Granny's Soup Company, a half a mile. Soup's on. Martha found Granny Flo in her office. She got right to the point. You broke your promise. Granny Flo turned angrily in her seat, but all she could see was Granny Elsie looking right at her. Granny Flo was terrified. Did you speak? She asked the portrait in a small voice. Every letter in every can, said Martha from behind the desk, you promised. But it's good for business, said Granny Flo to the portrait. Good soup is our business, said Martha. Granny Flo made the first of 13 calls from beneath her desk. She began with A, of course. What would people do without dogs? Martha was feeling better in every way when she suddenly she heard familiar voices calling her name. Then her whole family was hugging her and talking to her. They were saying wonderful things. Martha, our Martha, where were you? We've been looking for hours. When you missed dinner, we were worried. You never miss a meal. Are you hungry? We'll fix you a burger at home. And all before Martha could even say a word. The end.